Hello, this is Yakov Fein, and today we'll continue learning TypeScript. Uh, in lesson number 17, I introduced to you the numeric, numeric enumerations from the TypeScript language. And today we'll talk about string enums. But first, let me remind you numeric enums. Uh, see, we, want, we, can create, we can declare a set of constants. In this case, it's directions. And uh, by doing this, we introduce numeric enum. Each of these values, up, down, left, and right, will get a number assigned to it underneath, starting from zero. Or you could have assigned it on your own. Then over here, I use it, I invoke this. I declare a function move with an argument direction. That an enum, right? This gives me a clear benefits. Control space. See, it helps me showing you which values I can use uh, as an argument. I'm checking if value, uh, uh, if where, where to move. Let's say it's a game, right? If direction is up, uh, I want to print where. Uh, so I can't make a mistake, and I cannot say north instead of up, for example, right? So let me let me invoke this this function. See, it helps me, it tells me that it should be direction, direction dot, let's say, uh, let's say up. All right, so I invoke this function, and let's run it. See, it printed moving zero. Well, in this example, uh, it's not that important, and I can remember probably up means zero, probably zero uh, translates to up, and so on. In some cases, you want to have more meaningful uh, values for the members of enum. So you can debug it easier, or maybe for some other reason. Maybe you can monitor it some using some tools. So I don't want to see zero over here. I want to see something more meaningful. So in this case, we can rewrite this example using string enums. That's the case where enums are assigned string values, readable, meaningful, based on the context of your app. So see, a uh, small change I made over here. I assign string values. It's still enum, like in the previous example, but I, I, I don't want to rely on TypeScript mm, compiler to assign values, like over here, see, 0, 1, 2, 3, during code generation. I want to, to take it, to take control in my hands, so to speak. So I assign these values, up, down, left, and right. And the, the rest is pretty much the same. I still say that I have a function move and I want to use the direction as a type and it'll keep helping me the same exact way as with enum. But if I will invoke this uh, function move uh, with direction up, in this case, if I will run it, it'll print me moving up. See, this is more meaningful right away. Instead of printing moving Mm, zero, it just print me moving up, which helps me in in uh, cases like this, in cases of debugging. This is not the only way to restrict myself to certain values, right? Uh, this enum direction. Uh, so what I could have done, I when I declare the function instead of using enum, I'm just showing you an, an alternative, an alternative. What I could do, I could See, so the possible values are up, not ip, but up. Third time trying to, to type. Or down, right? Or left. But uh, by the way, do you still remember what, mm, what Syntax contra, uh, construct do I use now? It's union, right? This vertical bar is union. I decided I can do it like this, for example. In this case, I couldn't use direction uh, enum, right? But I could have used something else. I could have uh, still, for example, let me see if I can do north. See, it doesn't let me. It tells me you cannot use north because I limited uh, the possible value in line number eight with up, down, left, and right. So I still have this protection. Or 
I could have declared uh, if this is uh, something that I would need to use in multiple places, I could have used, uh, I could declare the type direction. Something like this, right? Is equal to these guys. Uh, let me do direction. It doesn't like duplicate declarations, right? So I, I can use it like this. And uh, of course, it, it will point me to a problem. Direction. What? Actually, it, it helps me in a way, but it has a lot of uh, extra noise, so to speak. It has left, it has right, it has down, and it has probably up somewhere down below. Yes, but the help is not that uh, friendly anymore, right? run everything is fine moving up uh, final thing i want to show you is there is if i will add a, a word const something important will happen i want you to pay attention to the right hand side to the generated code to the generated code if i will just enter on the left over here the, the keyword const look at this it did not generate an equivalent in JavaScript for the string enum, but it inlined, inlined the value that was used in the program on the left. What does it even mean? Let me get rid of it again. Take a look. This whole piece over here is the code that was generated by TypeScript compiler uh, to represent enum in JavaScript. Right? And uh, over here, uh, your direction is up, and I invoke, I invoke the function move with direction dot up. If I will put a const in there, it'll replace specifically direction dot up with the value of up. Because this is the only thing that I was using there. But it will not generate the code for the enum itself. Let's see. Let's look again. Const. See, the code is gone for the num itself. And the line number seven shows me that I was used, actually generated the code that is using up. So the value that represents direction dot up is in line at the place of using it. So what it gives us, it gives us more concise JavaScript, less of a JavaScript is generated. Uh, technically there could be some drawback because in some cases you want to reverse engineer the code in JavaScript and to see what was there originally, what was the declaration of the enum. In this case you, you will lose it. In, if you wouldn't be using the const it would be a different story, you would have some equivalent in JavaScript and you could figure out using special syntax what was behind this up or down or so on. But overall const is your friend which allows you to generate uh, shorter JavaScript. To sum it up you can use numeric enums, you can use string enums, if you want you can uh, find equivalent for enums, for example you can declare a type where you will list specific uh, set, limited set of constants that you want to use using uh, union. Thank you for watching.